Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. This is the kickstart to my daisy week. So every day this week I'm going to be posting up a project which is all about daisies. I love daisies and um, just reminds me of my childhood making daisy chains and doing the little um, that little saying you used to do when you used to pull a petal off and he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. Um, and they're just really, really lovely and they're everywhere. So I purchased this really, really lovely, um, let me just grab it, I've hidden it. So online, there's a lady that I've brought quite a few um, dies from, um, some like my, um, all my stitch dies, so my square framelets and circle framelets, ovals and rectangles all purchased from this lady online and she does other ones as well and she done these daisy ones um, and there is another one actually, it's a tiny one which I've misplaced somewhere but that's fine it's this size one here, um, I'll find it in a minute um, so yes, yeah, so you just double them up, so this is the large one which I've used here um, and there's a medium sized one which is there and then you've got leaves here as well but I, I didn't use them because you don't actually have green petal uh, leaves on daisies so I've left them out and then that's just the little centerpiece um, here so from that I have created lots and lots of lovely projects to do my daisy week and this is my first one and I absolutely adore it it's not a card it's not a box it is just a decorative piece that I'm going to send to somebody and I've put the little sentiment for you on it but it just looks lovely just stood up um, on its own on a shelf, on a windowsill, anywhere you want, and I think it looks lovely. Um, it folds completely flat, so you just fold it onto the side there, and it can go in an envelope or in a um, postal bag, whatever, um, so it's easy to send, and then it just lifts up and resu resumes its uh, shape, and there you go. And it's it's just really, really lovely. I, it's like, it is like the pop-up birthday cards, um, so it's that kind of concept, but I wanted to do this crate and that all came from this free um, set of uh, this free paper pack so it was in this current copy of Do Crafts Creativity magazine which I love it's a really nice magazine always do really good quality freebies I know some of these magazines the freebies they sell it's worth I don't know £20 or something and you think no it's not <laughs> that's just a lie um, this doesn't state this is worth anything I didn't well I, that not that I saw but anyway it is good quality and it's their products so you know some some magazines make stuff that's just for the magazine and you know it's, it's not as good quality this is a 24 pack of 160 um, GSM uh, wood effect papers those of, the, of you that do follow my videos I, I love using um, texture and I like using um, wood effect papers and brown card is my favourite. So basically because these were too thin to do this um, so I thought I've stuck these down the ones that I'm going to use for this video and the ones I've done for this so obviously I'm explain, showing you exactly what I've done onto brown card using some double sided um, sticky tape sheets just so it made it really really strong. Um, but I'll just show you through. I mean, you can see on the front here you get one, two, three, four, five, six different designs, and you get four of each design. Um, so it's just a really nice, nice paper pack. You can see them all there. This is the one I'm going to be using for today. Um, it's like floorboard. So again, that, that's going to look really nice with the crates. Um, that's a nice one there, and then this one is another good one as well. So that's how this has all come about. Come about from me getting this freebie and those dies and I've done my daisy week so I hope you're going to enjoy this week because um, I have some really really lovely things to show you all this is just a bit of the leftover card that I had from this one and I was working my measurements out and I couldn't quite get enough strips from this one piece to do it the same but that's fine because um, I know I'll use this but you can see there I've just mounted it onto the back of this brown card which is uh, 280 GSM so it's, it, it's made it a really super strong piece of card um, and it's really nice to work with. The sentiment that I've been using is from a Stamping Up um, stamp set Chalk Talk and it's just this one here for you. Um, there are matching framelits for this one. I don't have them but I just found a circle die that fitted 
that quite nicely and it cut it out. It was my stitched ones and um, it cut them out, uh, cut it out really nicely. And these you'll see I've got green stems. Those came from my, where's my other one gone? It was from the Everyday Jars Stamping Up Framelits and it is just this one here. And I think I use that one as well. Yeah, you can see on the backs there. It looks really nice on the back as well. So if it is in someone's windowsill, at least it doesn't look messy or anything on the back. Um, so yeah, so I just use those two. But if you just want to cut them freehand, you don't have these. It's, I mean, you can see there. You can quite easily just um, cut a few strips of green um, card quite easily. So let's crack on. So what I'm going to show first is just how I put... I'm just going to sit that there quite nicely. There we go. Um, okay, so I've got here my brown cards. This is um, a paper pack of 100 sheets from Do Crafts that I buy, 9.99, um, and like I said, 280 GSM. So it's a really, really good buy. I love these. And then I have these um, double-sided tape sheets from Stick to Anything. Um, their website's really good, but they do sell this in Hobbycraft, and you can get it on eBay as well. So shop around because you'll probably get um, you know, different prices and stuff, but super inexpensive. I think I only pay maybe one ninety nine, and you get five sheets. But I've also got a pack of A5 sheets as well, but I can't find them. So, um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick, put these two together and just stick them all on to the back so I get an A4 of this card. So, you know, you can just about make out the seam there, but that doesn't matter. It's a pretty good match. So all I'm going to do is just take off. I'm going to do half at a time because I don't want to get myself into a mess. I'm just going to line, first of all, if I do it this way, and line it up. You can see where I am there. So I'm just going to get it right up into that corner. Um, and make sure I get it nicely down there. Like so. And I'll take off the other side and then match this up. Yep. And just carefully get that lined up. So just keep doing it until you're happy that you've got it. I'm such a fussy person, it probably is fine, but I want to get this exact. There we go. And then just lie that all up, like so. Okay, so I've got a little bit of an overhang there, so I'm just going to grab some old scissors and just carefully... Go along and just cut off that excess. There we go. And, uh, make sure you wipe your scissors, get all that sticky off each time, although they are my old ones, so try to not use my best scissors for that and then just take off oh, this back sheet and then you just want to line this all up onto your A4 card so again just starting from this end here Now you have got a little bit of sticky on the side there, but that's fine. A really nice big piece. So you can do all sorts of this now. If you've got any nice beautiful big dies and stuff, you can cut them out and everything. So that's why I was drawn to this, because I just love love this kind of um, effect. So to make this uh, crate, daisy crate, you are going to need six strips of these ones here which are three and a half by half an inch 
So you need six of them, three for the front, three for the back. You then need six one and three quarters by half of an inch. So that's these ones for the side. So there's three and three. And you then need four pieces of four inch by half an inch, which are these pieces here inside. So I've got one, two, three and four. And then you need four of two inch by half an inch, which are your side pat your corner panels here. So one, two, three and four. Okay. Daisies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got twelve, four of each size, so four large, four medium, four small. And then your little stems. I have reinforced them all, so I've cut out double of the stems just so they're super strong. So unless you've got a really thick green card, as thick as you know, 280 GSM, like the card that I've used um, there, then that'd be fine. But if it's a bit more of a, a flimsier card, then I'd just say, just stick them on top of each other, which is what I've done for all of those. And then just the sentiment of your choice. If you did want to make this as a card, then you could put something on the back there as well. So, but this is just a nice decorative piece. Okay, so let's crack on and make it. Okay, so I've got all of my bits and pieces that I need um, already here. So you should have, just to go over it again, you should have six strips that measure three and a half by one inch, by half an inch. Uh, six strips that measure one and three quarters by half an inch. Sorry, let me just check. One and three quarters? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it just looks so much smaller. Yeah, one and three quarters. There you go. Um, so that was the six strips there. Okay. Then you need four strips of four and uh, half an inch. And then you need your four strips of two inches by half an inch. So everything's half an inch. And then um, the other measurements that I just gave you. Then all your flowers, so I've done all mine here and I've got them all ready to go. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to pop those ones to one side which I'll explain to you in a minute and we will pop those to one side for a minute. So all you need for the time being is these two inch by half inch and your three and a half by half inch and we're going to start putting them together. So these little ones here I have already gone and scored these on my scoreboard. So the little two inch ones, just grab your scoreboard and literally if I just lie that flat, you just want to score at a quarter of an inch down through the middle. All right. So you just then just fold it with your fingers just so you get a nice kind of, sorry, let me just turn my laptop off there. there um, yeah, so you've got a nice little corner edge like so. Okay, so what we're going to do now, so we're going to grab one of these long strips here and you want to get a little bit of tacky glue, just apply it on the edge there and then just pop it right at the very top in the corner there so you get that effect. So you want to go right up to the top. Okay, and then again grab another piece, this time do it at the bottom. Whenever I work in threes, I always put one piece at the top, one piece at the bottom, and then the other bit. And then that, and just stick that one right down there. So it's right in that corner, okay? And then apply some glue in the middle. And again, line that one up and stick it down. So basically, that is what you should have. So you can already see there the front of the crate starting to come together. So then grab another one of the corners and just apply a little bit of tacky glue on the end of all of them. Pop that one in and then just apply some pressure so it all sticks down. Like so. There you go, there already you have the front. So just go ahead and do that with those two and those last three pieces there. And then we can crack on and start doing the side pieces. Okay, so there, I, there you go, I've got the two, 
pieces now, my front and back. So all we need to do now is grab our little side pieces here. So you should have six of those. And doing exactly the same again, just apply some glue at the end there. And then again, just line that up and hold that in place. And stick it down like so. So there you have your corner starting to come together. And just repeat that here and here and again all on that side there. Okay? Okay, so that's how it will all come together. So now you need your four inch by half inch pieces. I thought I was being all prepared and I scored mine wrong, but it's fine because I can go through it. Um, I can go through it, I can do it in the right place anyway now. So all you want to do is lie your four inch um, tab along the front there and just score at a quarter of an inch on each one. And then, so a quarter of an inch first and then at three and three quarters. So it'll give you that quarter of an inch side there. And then basically you just want to fold it like so, so they're like that. And what's going to happen then is you're going to pop that inside here. So you start to create these little kind of um, tabs where we're going to attach all the flowers. So just go along and just score all of those. Okay, so you see I've done all of mine now and just with the pattern facing you just fold the tabs so they're upwards like so. So grab one, just pop a little bit of glue on the outer part there and then with the pattern facing you, you basically just want to pop it in on the top there. If you grab, um, I'll just use my scorer here just to apply some pressure on that tab at the end so that glue completely sticks and again on that side there like so and that's what you want to create is this little tab here so again just grab another one put a little bit of glue on the ends there and again just you want to have the tab so it goes right up to the back of that one there. And again, just gonna lie that down, just so they're both really stuck. Okay, there we go, so you can see there. So yeah, if you wanna put in, you'd probably put in another two more there, but then you would need even more daisies and filling it all in. Um, but that's fine, that's still going to work and I'm happy with that. So now the fun bit is apply applying, is attaching all of these. So I've got my four big ones, four medium ones and four small ones. So I'm going to start with the largest at the back, first of all, and then work my way forward. So basically you can see here how I've kind of created a bit of a big oval. So I've got large ones all here and then it kind of gets smaller and smaller. So. There's not really a right or wrong to this. You just you want to have it so that when you look at it, there are no no kind of gaps really, um, and yeah, kind of just go for it. You know, don't be afraid. So I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna speed it up so you'll just see how I'm putting them together. Um, like I said, there is no right or wrong. So just have fun with it.
Okay, so there's my little sentiment, um, and I've die cut that already with my stitched framelits there that you can just kind of make out. So I just put a little foam, um, bit of foam sticky on the back there, and I'm just going to attach it so it sits on that top panel, like so, just off to the side. And there you have it. Oh, I love it. It's just so cute. <laughs> I, I just these kind these are the things that I really really enjoy just nice just nice paper craft pieces I just think they're great and this looks lovely just as a decorative piece so like I said this isn't this is the style of a pop up card but it's not a card so if you did want it to be then I would suggest that you maybe cut a nice little square and you could you know um, have it so it's a bit of a sign on the crate just saying to from um, if you did want to do that. Um, but you can see the back looks really nice and neat as well. And if you did want to fill that up a bit more, you can, but it doesn't need it. It's really, really nice like that, I think. So there you have it. The first of my daisy week. I hope you've enjoyed it. It is easy, but it's very detailed. There's lots and lots of bits, so a bit of preparation, but um, really straightforward to put together. So to tune in for the others, others for the other uh, daisy-inspired uh, projects that I'm going to be putting up every day this week. Um, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out and like this video if you did enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye!